You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the clock cleaners podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing recap of, of Raw from uh, November 6th. Yeah. Can't complain about dates. You're the one that wrote it. It's true. And it says what the show is. Yeah. So <laughs> this week's Raw and SmackDown was both taped from the United Kingdom. Yes. What are they? A couple hours? Um, of us, something like that? They're six hours ahead Six of hours? Us. Okay. Um, I'm almost positive they filmed them like at like eight o'clock in their, in their time. time. So it gave them like a good amount of time to edit and everything. Yeah. So spoilers were everywhere. Well, um, yeah. Well, no, even on WWE's Facebook. They did? It was coming up, yeah. Because uh, when Christine was scrolling through her Facebook and we were watching SmackDown, uh-huh. it came up title change. And I was like... Really? So that must have been a mistake. They, they did it for Raw as well. Well, I'm just saying. Both nights. I, I, I would have to yeah. imagine that whoever was in charge of that wasn't, because they probably have them like in the office. Right. They get the footage in, and then as it like they find relevant things, mm-hmm. they post, post it, it. Yeah. And they didn't like think, like, I, oh, I should probably I mean, wait until it's. To be fair, the Americans are not their only audience members, but. The it's majority. Tr- but it was not broadcast live anyway. Oh, it wasn't? No, okay. it never is. Any okay. t- anytime yeah, it's it pre-recorded, it's only broadcast when it's original or when it's the, the broadcast comes for on. Us. I yes. got gotcha. you. So it's not like you, you could not watch it unless you were in the arena live. Mm-hmm. So Fair enough. Very good. Because that's what they did the last time. Yeah. Well, they did it the night before. Oh, okay. Because Raw, Raw was taped on Sunday. And, right. Um, SmackDown was taped on Monday. Was it? Oh, okay. Because that's weird. Because not, not this time. This time was oh, the time. Oh, this time was the, okay. The yeah, last yeah, yeah. time. Oh, I got gotcha. you. That's what they did. All right, fair enough. Yeah, because I was going to say that things were readily available. <laughs> well, last year is that's when they did that. Very good. Um, but overall, for shows that were taped, they were both entertaining shows, or Raw was entertaining anyway. Well, I was going to say they were both very like jam packed with like things that were going yeah. on yeah things actually happen usually these would just be shows that you would write off and be like ah, nothing's gonna happen yeah, it's taped it's, well that and the fact that it was two weeks before the pay-per-view right um i don't think we've ever seen this many, many title changes from one pay-per-view it's to the next yeah, one that's true and it's not over yet it's true there's our title it, matches next week well there's two on smackdown the women's and uh well, how about we talk about that when we yeah. get to Oh, yeah, down. there is a U.S. title match, too. Yeah. Um, Any hoo-ha. So uh, we're going to we're gonna start on Raw mm-hmm. now. Start actually talking about what we're supposed to yeah, talk you about. Yeah, you know. Um, but, yeah, first it, it has a recap of uh, Braun's attack on the Mr. Oz mm-hmm. last week, setting up, I guess, the main story of the show, or yeah. at least one of the main stories of the show. It's kind of been the main story the last, well, I guess, two weeks, right? Yeah. yeah. So, um. And then the show opens proper with uh, The Miz TV. Mm-hmm. Him, Curtis Axel, and Bo Dallas are yes. in the ring. Um, the Miz starts talking about... Curtis Axel sporting a nice neck brace. Yes. <laughs> um, actually, before before uh, we actually get started, mm. he's turning into Damian Sandow. Because <laughs> he's getting over because he's associated with The Miz, but he's not The Miz. Because they, they chant for him every yeah. time. That so. was so good. What, that gimmick, uh, Sandow. Yeah, the Miz Oh, Dow? the Stun Dow. Yeah. yeah, the Stun Dow. Stun Double. Yeah, Miz Dow. That was good. And then they ruined him by, what, in TNA. Aaron Rex, right? Yep. And then, I don't even, I guess he's just floating around the independence now, maybe? Um, I thought he still worked. Well, you would know better than me. Nope. But, yeah, they didn't they He's didn't not on much. impact. Yeah, they did not did not do much with him. No. Um. Anyway, so the Miz starts with uh, talking about his Twitter feud, feud with uh, Baron Corbin. Mm-hmm. And how uh, Baron just doesn't shut up. So, at a Survivor Series, he's gonna ah, he said he's gonna beat him so bad that he's gonna make him and his title relevant. Yeah, he also called him the bathroom break of SmackDown. Yes, he which did, which is not true. And I use a bathroom break pretty much every show. And he is not my bathroom break. Is your bathroom break anytime that Jinder comes out? <laughs> no, love me some Jinder. I tell you what, the bathroom break was tonight, but we're not up to there yet. Oh, okay. So, um, anyway, he then introduces his guest, Raw General Manager, Kurt Angle. Mm-hmm. Um, and he basically just shows clips of, uh, I guess, things that he feels Angle should be ashamed of. Mm-hmm. Like him getting yelled at by Stephanie. Him um, 
What was, that? what was the other one? Chastising the Miz for leaving early, right? All that stuff, Wait, wasn't that? Yeah, but something else that happened to Angle. I don't remember what it was. Oh, oh, um, I remember. There was another clip. Anyway. Yeah. Um, and uh, he uh, then he accuses uh, him of being involved with Kane attacking Daniel Bryan. Mm-hmm. And he says that if, uh, if Raw does end up losing at Survivor Series, it's going to be all Angle's fault. Right. And then he did say yeah, he set up the attack on, by Braun, which is why he wouldn't let him leave the arena and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. Yep. And then he wanted to Angle to apologize for the attack on Axel from the week before. And that's when he got the huge reaction. Everybody was chanting Curtis Axel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, after that, Angle then uh, tells Miz that just to, to get Braun on Team Raw. Yeah, he also said, you just gave it, you know, the spot yeah, to Braun, yeah. and then that's when, yeah. He said in order to get him to be on the team, he needed to give uh, Braun a match with The Miz that night. And The Miz was not happy about nope. it. But so good way to start off, Raw. Yeah, it's true. Especially and, with The Miz. And it led to a... Uh, match later on tonight? Yes. Yeah. So up next, we had the highly anticipated guitar on a pole match between Elias and... Versus Jason Jordan. We hadn't had one of these in like 20 years. Yeah, I think that's what Corey... uh, That's what Booker said. Oh, Booker said. (laughs) Had to be one of them. Yep. Uh, But, um... Yeah, so before the match, since Elias did not have his guitar with him... It's true, it was on a pole. He said that he was going to take requests, and then, yeah, he said... uh, They they started chanting Wonderwall, right? (laughs) And apparently at a house show... Uh, a week or so back him gallows and anderson and curtis axel or bo dallas did wonderwall i guess that's yeah. why they... yeah i'm guessing yeah that that's why uh. but uh so yeah of course he denies that and has his own original and then he runs down manchester right yeah yeah well that's what he always does, yeah. he does the i was just remembering where they were yeah and then jason jordan came out to the crickets i don't know i don't mind jason jordan it's just well, when we get to the point, I think there's, I know what they're doing. There's a point. Well, well, you mean just like in the future? Yeah, or uh, or right now. No, I meant like I thought you were talking about later on in the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But what they're gonna yeah do with him? Mm-hmm. But yeah, so this was a weird match because every insert item on a pole match, whenever somebody gets it, they can just use it. It mm-hmm. doesn't. They don't get the win. Yeah, like the kendo stick on a pole match. Yes. So. Elias was able to grab the guitar down, and I guess he went to swing at Jason Jordan and then, what, dropped it, right, eventually? Yeah. And then they fought back and forth. Jason Jordan picked it up, slammed it over Elias's back, and the bell rang, and that was the match. Yes. Well, that, they had they had stated that at the beginning. No, I know, but it's just usually yeah, normally not Normally, they, they use it as a, just an, as a tool right. not to yeah. win. You get it first, so you get to use it. That's, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Um, but I don't know why they chose it. Mo- probably mostly because they know that if there was a slip up, it could end poorly. I guess. So at least that would prevent further. Mm-hmm. Plus, it's a it's a guitar. It's a one and done thing. Usually, other no, things have fair. a little more right, no, 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 durability I, to them. I can live with that. That makes sense. So, but yeah, like I said, at least they said it instead of it just happening abruptly. Right. Right. Well, actually. To be fair, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> well, I know, but a lot of times they change the rules and they don't explain it oh, beforehand. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess this about... is an elimination match now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so uh, um, good stuff. But yeah, uh, up next we got Angle playing on his phone in the he back. Does that a lot? It's just a, a th- manager thing. I think it's the direction he's given be- mm. to to start to look, the backstage. Look, to, look busy. Yes, that's exactly what I think it's <laughs> he's told to do. Hands out of your pocket. Yeah. So uh, Sheamus and Zara come up, telling him that uh, he's not that he's not putting Raw's best foot forward, mm-hmm. having Dean and Seth to f- uh, fight the Usos at right. uh, Survivor Series. And I think just having Sheamus and Cesaro not on the card. Wow. Yeah, but technically speaking, right. if they're facing the Usos, mm-hmm. then Dean well, and there's Seth aren't. Still three spots on the Raw team at, at that point in time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They they could have been involved mm-hmm. in the um, in the. Uh, the raw match itself but later on in the night we fill that yep. out making sure that that's not the the uh answer but they were kind of just going over reasons why they should be in the match and so on and so forth and kurt's like guys guys you know how we settle things on raw we do it in the ring if you guys wanted a match just tell me yeah and then 
So he uh, gives them their final title shot mm-hmm. against Dean and Seth for uh, the Royal Tag Team titles. Yep. And that is our main event for the night. Yes. Which was not stated. They don't always tell you what the main event's going to mm-hmm. be. Sometimes they do, but a lot of times they won't. Well, if usually if there's any title match, it's usually a main event. Um. Yes, but at the same time, like... I guess now sometimes they have, like, the Intercontinental title at, like, the 10 o'clock hour and stuff like that. Yeah, but it. I meant more of the, like... Even if it's not a title match, mm-hmm. they'll just say... They'll, Coming up to, later on tonight. They do that tonight. on SmackDown very often. Yeah. They'll be like, tonight, and then... Mm-hmm. Unless the only time you know for sure when it's going to be is when it says up next. Yeah. So, right. Right, right. So and then they'll have three backstage segments before the actual thing. And then, <laughs> that is very true. Um, so up next, we had uh, Asuka squash match. Yes. She, um, he was he yeah she was facing uh alistair black's girlfriend apparently oh mm-hmm. yeah because uh i think he posted something up on twitter and then somebody looked into it and said hey that's his girlfriend huh. yep. so um one thing mm. between the end of the segment before there was a commercial right and they did that like oscar the like, promo yeah, thing. Yeah, that's yeah. gotta stop yeah. That needs to stop so badly. Oh, right, because the it went black and then and she it just shined says on up the next, yeah, up next on Oscar. Yeah, like, yeah. What is the point? Which got a pop from the crowd. It doesn't and, matter. No, no, no. It and then her stop. entrance got a pop. Yes. And then the match was dead silent. Oh, well, yeah, because I mean, it's, it's a, a jobber. Match, yeah, I know. So it doesn't matter. Well, no, they were chanting, let's go jobber. Oh, at they were? At one point, yes. Because uh, um, apparently somebody had said that they heavily edited the show, I think, uh, which uh, they okay. always do. Yeah. Well, when they have the opportunity. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's. um. But you, it's just so dumb. You know what I mean? They don't do it for anybody else. No. So what's the I point of doing it for her? Because it's a big spectacle, man. Well, they like they don't do it for Brock Lesnar, who's literally meant to be that. You know what I mean? So. Well, they do hype it pretty much. When I know not that he's ne- up next, but every time he's going to be there. Yeah, but he's never there. They did it for Roman Reigns. Yeah, that's true. So I don't know. Whatever. It's got to stop. But yeah, she won. Oh, really? <laughs> so and, after the match, we went backstage, and Alicia Fox said, this is your captain speaking again. She, I like I like this. It, it's good. I don't she's, mind it. She's running with it, and I guarantee after Survivor oh, yeah, Series, she's going to yeah, oh, keep absolutely. it. Absolutely. Um, and she has recruited Asuka mm-hmm. to the Raw Women's Team. Yeah, it's kind of funny because you kind of assume at first, okay, it's just going to be everybody except for like one or two people. Yeah, right. And now they're actually, like like SmackDown did, yep. now they're actually making it seem like there's a competition or... Don't don't see them losing the Royal Women's Oh, no. That, how can they? I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah now added Asuka. That's kind of solidifying Yeah, that Asuka, Nia Jax, over. Alicia Fox, even though she's not really booked very Alicia strong. Fox. Sasha is on the team. We find that out later on in the oh, night. He's spoiling it for everybody. It, it already happened. <laughs> there was two possibilities for it to be spoiled before now. It's true. Just when it was actually happening and then after it aired. <laughs> Maybe people will watch it going into it and have no idea what's going on. Yeah. Anyway. Probably not. So um, we have a, an interview. Charlie interviews Titus mm-hmm. about Cruz's match last week and how Joe just destroyed him. Yeah. Um, and he said that tonight Joe's in trouble because I have him. Yep. And uh, then uh, Titus comes out and then immediately gets attacked by Joe from behind. <laughs> yeah, because... Because I had walked out of the room for a second, and I heard Titus's music, so I said, oh, I'll be right back. And I come back in, and it's Joe's music. He's just walking down, and I was like, where's Titus? Yeah. So, uh, but he attacks him, puts him in the cocaine clutch in the middle, mm-hmm. or on the ramp. And I guess Cruz just r- runs away, or whatever. Because um, Cruz was with the one he came out. <laughs> he got hit once, and then he ran, he ran away. away. Yeah. Um, and then he goes down to the ring. Uh-huh. And he says, um, it doesn't matter who you are, I'm going to take you down. Yep, so another open challenge by Samoa mm-hmm. Joe. Yep. And Mr. Finn Balor comes out. Yeah, why is he accepting all these challenges? I guess it's because he has no creative direction. He's not with Bray Wyatt. That's all that matters. Oh, it's true. A smelly, Which is weird. Smelly man I hasn't been on TV in a while. he's cleared to wrestle, I would assume. I think um, he's worked house shows. I guess. I don't know. Roman yeah. wasn't on TV either. No. Well, he's back next week, right? They said. Yes, but my point is that I don't know if. Well, uh, I I'm think guessing it's... they're all cleared because JoJo's back too. Yeah. But it's just a matter of they don't have anything for them. So no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't think Roman is cleared to wrestle yet. No. Well, he doesn't need to wrestle until 
what, a week from Sunday anyway. I, so Yeah, I don't know if they're even going to go through with it. Well, they probably will, uh, assuming you're referring to the uh, Shield versus New Day match that's yes. rumored to happen. Uh-huh. Um, I think they could very easily just make it two-on-two. Two two. Two. Yeah. And have Roman and, I guess, Xavier Woods on the outside. Yeah. You know, it wouldn't take In a anything. bubble. Yes. <laughs> it wouldn't take much away from the match. No, not at all. Well, there's, a little bit. Yeah, it would take some they because should, it's not they, the full shield. That and the fact that before or kind of during the, I guess the build up, mm. so to the to the um the reuniting of them, they right. were talking about how they missed the three on three tag team matches. So yeah, missing both opportunities to have mm-hmm. that. Oh, that's, yeah, row, that's true. That'd be a shame. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so we got Finn versus Joe, mm-hmm. and they gave this match a lot of time. Yeah, it was a pretty good match. Nah, I mean, um, if they plan on doing a feud between these two, I am all for it. But they've done it already. But it's a different universe. Let's go over this. Um, but yeah, it was a good match. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Finn hits a suicide dive. Um, very good looking suicide dive. Mm-hmm. He pulled it off very. Uh, safely yeah because he like he did the thing where he like lands flat on his back and, and lands him right land right on his feet um yeah, they, it, wow. they they fight outside the ring mm-hmm. and joe ends up what does he uh sl- throw him onto the ramp right yeah and at this point the, uh, the referee's at oh, yeah. the eight or nine mm-hmm. count they and they both get counted, get counted out. out and joe's like what do you mean i got counted out <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Now I remember how this plays out. <laughs> so then they start fighting even, um, even more, mm-hmm. and they get split up by security. And referees. And, and... Yeah, Angle's like, that's enough. And, and then they get split up, mm-hmm. and, and then I guess Joe's going off to the left by where the commentator's table is. And then, Well, I think at this point, Kurt had the microphone, and he said, I really like you know the oh, intensity yeah. between the two of you, so I'm putting each of you, you know, both of you on Team Raw, Team Raw yeah. for Survivor Series. Mm-hmm. And then... They were trying to escort Joe in front of the announcer's booth to the back while they were trying to escort Finn up the stage, and then Finn jumps off the stage onto Joe. Mm-hmm. That was a cool spot. Yeah, and then... Would he kick him? I, he I kind of, like, dived yeah. onto him. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Uh, Samoa Joe and Finn Balor are both now part of Team Raw, yeah. along with Kurt Angle mm-hmm. and Braun Strowman. Um, and uh, so, yeah. Yep. Team Raw is looking a little strong. Mm-hmm. So we go backstage, and Miz is in the locker room, pacing back and forth. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Bo Dallas starts talking to him about aliens and all this. You other... can, you can do it. <laughs> Crazy you stuff just, that he believes. You in. just gotta believe. Yeah. You gotta believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It says Halloween's <laughs> over. There's no such thing as monsters, Miz. And then was uh, Curtis Axel start talking? Right. He says, you know, we can just run away. Yeah. <laughs> Axel was legitimately concerned as well. Because he knows what it's like to be in the ring mm-hmm. with Mr. Strowman. And Miz kind of like looks at him, right? And he's just like, no, not right away. <laughs> I can't do it. Nope. And he's, Axel said, oh, whatever your decision is, I support you either way. Yeah. So. Yeah, not I, not that it really mattered to him anyway, because he wasn't the one facing Strowman. It's true. So. <laughs> it's true. Then uh, we go to Kurt Angle talking. Or I guess he was on the phone with Daniel Bryan, He was right? on the phone with Daniel Bryan, and, supposedly. Uh, yeah. So I guess he was apologizing for what had happened last week, and uh-huh. saying that he he wasn't responsible for it. Yeah. And then Jason Jordan comes in, Kurt Angles. You know, he's like, I don't want people to think that I give you special treatment, <laughs> but you know, from what you proved in your matches with uh, John Cena and Roman Reigns, which is actually true. Yeah, oh, absolutely. But nobody's doubting his wrestling ability. It, also true. But uh, I'm gonna add you to Team Raw. Yeah. So apparently, I guess. It was between Roman and Jason Jordan. Had Roman been cleared, they would have put him on Team Raw. Really? Yeah, that's that's what the rumor was. Yeah, because... So I'm guessing that's part of the reason that the title change happened, maybe? I I was going to say, I figured that the New Day um, versus S.H.I.E.L.D. thing kind of took priority. Mm. And they said, okay, once once they came up with that idea, Mm -hmm. then it didn't matter. or, Or it kind of... Made it so okay. Now we got to figure out who the fifth yeah. guy is going to be. Well, because I think the time frame for when Roman could come back was very close to Survivor Series. I don't know if they want to push it, mm-hmm. you know, instead of giving him more time to recuperate. 
So makes sense. I mean that you know if it's your top guy. Yeah, just I'm not sure how bad of his. I don't know if we was. know exactly what it. Well, was supposedly it was the, the all the same right? stuff. Yeah. It was the same as everybody else had. Or it was supposedly. A I think it was. I don't know. But yeah, this did not get a good reaction from the crowd. No, no. Which I understand. But no, but, it's understandable. But, but could we see Jason Jordan cause Kurt the match? Or, you know, or lose, and then Kurt blames him, which turns Jason Jordan heel, um, which has a feud with Angle. I see Angle blaming Jordan more likely mm. than And then him Jordan. changing the way he wrestles and stuff like that. Yeah. Even that though, that's that's winning. a lot more likely, but I don't see Jordan doing. It. Honestly, I, what I see happening is that win or lose, they're both together still. Mm. I don't I don't see anything happening. Yeah. But it's much more likely for Angle to blame him than to, the other way around. Yeah. Think. So it's sucks, either way. But I see Jason Jordan turning heel at some point. It, it, it's possible. I, Hopefully, he turns into. A Doctor of Thugonomics Part 2. There you go. And then he can feud with Angle. You no, know, it's sad I could really see him coming out with the hat and the chain he, and He looks like John Cena. Mm-hmm. He also looks like Kurt Angle. But he, <laughs> that's That was the nice thing about their feud back in the day, mm-hmm. because they looked similar. Oh, yeah, that's true. And when Kurt Angle came out wearing the Eagles jersey <laughs> and the sideways hat, you kind of thought it was John Cena Ooh, for that, a second. Yeah. That's the same thing as when The Miz dressed up like John Cena. I oh, kind of thought fantastic. it was him for a second. They that made, was great. Mattel put out a two-pack of... The two of them? Of John, no, of uh, The Miz and Maurice dressed as really? John Cena and Nikki Bella. That's yeah, awesome. It's pretty cool looking. That's great. Yeah. Um, all right, so up next we have Mike Rome interviewing ba- Bailey and Sasha Banks. Mm-hmm. Uh, says that... Oh, I should say they, he was asking them about... That what their thoughts of Team Raw so far is, right. and uh, they say that Fox might be different, but she's not different enough not to pick us for yeah. the team. There was two spots left. It's true. So they were obviously the logical yeah. choices. Yeah. But it's that, Naya, Oscar, and Fox so far at that right? point in yeah. time, yeah. So, uh, but yeah, at that point in time, mm-hmm. or I should say, and then they kind of just up and left. And this is where my bathroom break came into play. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. So uh, we up next, we have a match. Nia Jax came out first. Yeah, this was so weird. And I did see the beginning. And then it was Sasha and then Bailey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then, Alicia, and, and then Fox. Alicia Fox came out. I was like, huh, I wonder if that wasn't supposed to happen. I'm assuming it wasn't supposed <laughs> to happen. Because <laughs> even Nia was looking in the ring kind of confused. Well, I, I, what probably happened was Nia wasn't supposed to come out first. first. Yeah. So that would be my guess. Kevin Dunn yep. strikes again. So they Well, because once you play the music, you kind of mm-hmm. you don't have a choice. Although at that point you would say, Just put, "Okay, we'll put Alicia Fox next." Yeah, that would make more sense. But I guess maybe yeah. Alicia wasn't ready. They needed to get her hat ready. It's true. Um, but yeah, th- this was a uh, not a very eventful match. Nah, obviously, standard tag ma- women's tag match. I'm guessing that we get more often than not on Raw. Yeah. Well, the di- the difference really now is that it's Alicia Fox instead of Alexa Bliss. This is pretty much the match that happens all the time. Or Mickey James in. There, some there, variation. there hasn't been a whole lot of because there's a lot of Sasha and Bailey teaming together, and usually oh, yeah, it's Nia Jax and Alexa yeah. Bliss. Um, anyway, so um, if Bailey gets isolated for a large majority of this match, mm-hmm. um, she's able to get the hot tag, and then um, <clears throat> there's some kind of skirmish. Uh, Nia Jax gets knocked down at the, on the outside, and then Alicia Fox takes advantage of the confusion, tries mm-hmm. to roll up Sasha. Sasha counters into a back st- bank statement, to which Alicia Fox immediately taps out to. So, uh, so Bailey and Sasha win. Yep. After the match, uh, Alicia Fox grabs the microphone. She's like, "I need you on my team, Sasha." She's like, "No, I, Banks. I want you on my team." Yeah. And that was and that it. was it. No Bailey. Uh, apparently not. Yeah. Yeah, because that's when I came in the room. Back in the room, and when they Christine were... was like, oh, she made uh, Sasha a part of Team Raw. And I was like, uh, what about Bailey? Nope. She didn't Not say Bailey. anything. And then we got Braun versus The Miz. Mm-hmm. Um, so, if I recall, when Braun was in the ring, was Miz on one side and Curtis and Bo on the other, and they were kind of going back and forth, or was that... I feel like they were getting Braun to go one way, and they were, he would go in and attack him, or was that from last week? 
I think that was last week. Was it last week? Yeah, I'm because, just trying to remember. Because Axel get go, got cornered and mm. Bo and uh, The Miz ran away. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe that was No, the this end. one, it started with just The Miz and Braun in the ring. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and them getting involved was them, like, trying to take cheap shots when Braun was, like, near the sides. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. makes sense. So. Um, but yeah, he, like, they would jump up on the apron and he would knock them down. Right. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I guess Braun had the upper hand, which is not a surprise. And, yeah. Uh, he was going to take all three of them out. And then Kane's music hits and he comes out. Yep. Him and Braun get face to face, right? Yeah. Well, they- Kane comes into the ring. And then um, they they're fighting. Mm-hmm. And, and then, then Braun, uh, King goes for a choke slam. That's right. And then Braun overpowers powers powers out him. of it. Yes, hits a running power slam, turns around. Kane sits up, gets up, and then one of the announcers said, "Oh, we've never seen Kane do that before, or something like that." And it's just like Brock no, Lesnar. Never seen anybody, anybody. Okay, do that's, something that's like right. that. That's right. Okay, before. yes. And yeah, except Brock Lesnar beat the guy. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, then he clotheslines. Kane, Kane out of the, the top, ring. And he lands on his feet and then, and then just stare at each other. Yep. Walks away. And I think the Miz and the, the Miz Raj, Yeah, all three of them tried yeah. to attack Braun and then... He lays Braun, him out. Yep. And that was that. Was that. Yep. It's pretty, uh, pretty standard. I, I guess Braun, at some point, yeah. maybe Kane gets involved to cost the Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I, I really liked your idea. What would I say? With Kane, you know, going back on as the SmackDown fifth. Oh, yeah, that would have been great. It made so much sense. Yeah, and, and since they had no actual direction, yeah, it would have made sense. Mm-hmm. But no, they had to go and do something I like better. <laughs> Damn well, you, WWE, I guess it really... not giving me giving me what I want. Um, I guess it, it makes sense the way they did it, but we'll get to that on our SmackDown review. Yeah. So uh, up next, Renee Young interviews Seth and Dean about their match later on mm-hmm. against Sheamus and Cesaro. Yep. Um, they say they're ready for anything, like they always do. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they said they're going to prove that the Usos, that right. through the Usos, that they are the best, best and they, and the Shield is, in fact, the real bar. Yeah, Seth his fist up and goes this is the real bar or yeah. something like that and then they do the 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 fist, fist thing and, and then they, they leave walk away, renee puts her on with a big smile <laughs> on her face that was so funny yeah she always gets so excited when dean's around well it makes sense they are married so they are so yep anyway um so up next All was right. a a very painful beginning to a uh why, why do they give him so much time? Because. Well, I guess that's his whole thing. It's yeah. we don't. All right, we want you to just remember what he says on the microphone, not what he does in the ring. Well, it, also they they want the fans to be annoyed by him. Yeah. So the more he talks, the yeah. more likely it is that happens. I'd say he's fifty fifty now. It seems that way. It well, it it's certain starting to be a lot more people disliking him. Well, it's so. funny because it usually starts out. We're talking about Enzo, by the way. Yeah. Um. They start out chanting for him, and then he says something to the crowd, and then it gets less and less, and everybody's like, oh my god, shut off. Yep. So, he's he's yapping. Mm-hmm. Um, the fans start chanting for Neville. Wait, wait, yes. Oh, didn't Kalisto come running? Oh, no, no, he, he didn't come out yet. Yeah, he hadn't yeah. come out yet. But yeah, they start chanting for Neville. He's mm-hmm. still talking. He's like, I ran that guy out of town. And uh, tells <laughs> the, the, the crowd to shut up. Oh, did... Did you see that Austin Aries did a podcast with Chris Jericho? I, I think saw it, it before. Did you watch it or listen I to it? I literally just saw I think oh. it came out this morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that so, makes sense, yeah. I but did apparently not. he talks and says that WWE were the ones that released him. He did not ask for his release. Huh. It's different. So it should be interesting. I'm looking yeah. forward to reading that or listening um, to it. And, and he, seeing him. Wow. Wait. What do you mean seeing him? He'll be at the House of Hardcore. Oh, yeah. Did you mention that or... Probably did. Okay. <laughs> you said someone else. I we thought. won't go off that. Well, if we will, but we won't. Um, so today, I guess Tommy Dreamer was promoting it on the shark. Uh-huh. And Ed saw it on the Facebook thing. So he wrote to him. He said, who's going to be the third man in the mystery match or something stupid? I told him to say that to him. Uh-huh. And he was like, oh, that's a good idea. I should. <laughs> so Tommy like ripped him a new one. I said, well, why don't you go to the show and find out or something funny like that? 
It's like, oh, and then Ed yelled at me. I was like, what'd you expect? <laughs> I got yelled at by question. an old crazy man. Maybe it's a stupid question. Um, but yeah, uh, Kalisto comes out, mm. and then he just grabs a chair and sits on the outside. Mm-hmm. And at this point, Pete Dunne's music yeah. hits. Huge reaction. And then Kurt, Kurt Angle, Angle walks out. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, it's going to be the cruiserweight versus the bruiserweight. Yeah, even this guy. both cruiserweights. Technically. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, he announces that uh, he, Enzo will be facing Pete Dunne mm-hmm. in a non-title match. And, and uh, Pete Dunne kicked his ass. He did. He hit him with the bitter end, right? That's yes. Called. Yes. And... So it was a very, not swift, but it was a very decisive victory. Yeah. yeah. Um, which kind of makes something that happened the next night. Well, and, yeah. So, uh, yeah, after this happened, they had announced that the UK stars were invited to 205 Live. So... I wonder if they're going to be doing this on a regular basis now, but I don't know. Well, they also signed, uh, crap, what's his name? The guy from, he wrestled in TNA. AJ Styles. Yes, they did sign him. Yes, that is correct. Right, he did wrestle in TNA. Um, somebody for the cruiserweight division. Uh, oh, I know. Rockstar Spud. Yes, I was yes. going to say it's and that British guy. they're going to call up Hideo Itami, apparently. Uh, supposedly, yes. I, I, I think you saw that on the Idiots podcast. Probably. And, this is completely off topic, but apparently Pete Dunne is defending the UK title against Johnny Gargano at TakeOver or the night before or something like that, and it's not going to be televised. That's what it, I, I had what? read. Yeah, it was something stupid, like a huge match. That would be a big draw because, you know, people that watch usually the TakeOvers want to see wrestling. That's weird. Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah, it was one of those. I'll have to look it up later. Whatever. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, up next, we had a Lesnar versus Mahal video package. <laughs> Which was completely useless, but yeah, hey. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with it. Yeah, I know. It's like, you see this guy we're promoting? <laughs> He's irrelevant now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so then we got an interview with Charlie interviewing Alexa Bliss. Mm-hmm. I, I She's really become a really good interviewer i think yes like i never thought she was bad but i mean they seem to be using her like when they used her at the may young classic and she seemed really good i i think she's got a good presence yeah i think they want to do other things with renee Mm -hmm. so they're kind of pushing charlie on yeah but she's just got a very strong voice and things like that like you don't see uh what's her name on smackdown dasha yeah that's pretty much Renee, line, on, right? I guess. Think they use Dasha? Yeah. yeah. And I think Renee Just is. put her on that show Smackdown. that nobody watches. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> so, uh. But yeah, so apparently Bliss is annoyed that, Nat- I guess, Natalia said that she ran off to Raw, right? Yes. During the, uh,. The superstar shakeup, or just when? Well, she said she, that she, she ran she her ran, off to off to Raw. Oh, off to Raw, right, yeah. right, right. And then Charlie had made a comment saying, "Well, you did run away from her during uh, the invasion two weeks ago, right? It was two weeks ago." Yeah. And Bliss was not happy with that. Yep. And then uh, she basically said that she, you know, there's only one, there's one and only goddess in the WWE, mm-hmm. and it is me. Yes. And I will show Natalia at Survivor Series. Mm-hmm yeah so uh so yeah yep that leads us to our main event yeah uh, we got Seamus and Cesaro versus Dean and Seth for the tag team raw tag team titles so nothing wrong with this they uh, every, yeah, everything they, yeah well that and they just did the whole segment very good are you talking about like just the, everything okay yeah the match itself was fantastic the fact that the two teams have been feuding for three months now Almost. When did they win at SummerSlam? I think so. Yeah. So it's been almost three months. Um, and every time they they're in the ring together, it's just great, yeah. great matches. Mm-hmm. So it's getting around eleven, I think. Yeah. And then all of a sudden right, you yeah. hear the, the new days. Did the music play right? Well, it did. Biggie did the oh, oh that, Manchester. That's, yeah, that's right. Um, and then the New Day's music hit, and mm-hmm. their Titantron came up, and then they're like looking around, <laughs> and then they cut the Kurt Angle walking <laughs> the through backstage <laughs> with, um, with um, the Curse Act. No, Kurt it was uh, it was uh, Kurt Rhino Hawkins. and Heath Slater. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was first him. Yeah, and, and then, then all of a sudden the door opens and Braun walks out. Yeah, they start walking the wrong way too. Uh, at first I think, <laughs> and then he's like rallying the undercard. Yep, and it's like. SmackDown's here. Let's go. It's so they happening. It's yeah. Happening. So they 
they all go to the ring and then a, a lot of the raw superstars are like like surrounding the ring mm-hmm. and then they show the new day in the audience and they uh they go two weeks ago or yeah it was two weeks ago uh, yeah. we invaded or we uh we o- under siege or whatever raw. on uh, on raw and what did they do not to sing <laughs> <laughs> so they uh they they went through a few lines of that stuff mm-hmm. and then it's like and now we have under siege part two mm-hmm. and they just walk up the back up well, the no, ramp no, right no. no because they were they just they sat there for a little while mm-hmm. and then they showed all the superstars oh, oh, yeah. looking around right saying oh where are they mm-hmm. and then they're like psych and then they leave. That's when they left. And then the a couple of the royal guys start jumping over the uh, barricade. barricade to go to the outside. And at this point, Seamus jumps in, or he Seamus was like let like, down in the corner, right? Yeah, he or was something. like hiding in the yeah. corner. And he gets up, and Seth gets up, and he hits him with a bro kick, and gets the three count. Yep, because Cesaro, Cesaro held Dean, Dean outside the ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we have new tag team champions. It was certainly a surprise. Yeah. So, so at this point. It was all heel versus heel, or all heel champions on the main roster. Yes. There's only, well, as of right now, there's only one face champion yes. on the main roster. Mm-hmm. So that could change because yeah. we still have more title matches mm-hmm. next week. It's true. Um, but it's definitely interesting. Yeah. No, I really like the way they, they ended this segment. And like we like I had speculated, I said, oh, maybe they're going to do the Shield versus the New Day. People would want to see that. That yeah. could main event this over anything. Well, yeah, I was going to say, it seems like they really put the New Day's foot forward, or mm-hmm. the, the best foot forward with the New Day leading the charge on SmackDown. You might as well take advantage. I mean, these guys are so over. Mm-hmm. And Raw having the shield as the guys who are trying to be mm-hmm. Kurt Angle's last defense. So they technically could very well make this the main event. It's true. Because... It's it's technically even though it's Raw versus SmackDown and Kurt Angle and Shane mm-hmm. are in the match, but this it you actually could, has build up and you know yeah, and you could make this besides the fact that it's the two big the big or really the only two factions, but Very the two much. biggest factions that in the last easily twenty years, twenty could, years yeah. Besides DX, who else was yeah the Nation of Domination, the the Ministry, the Corporation. Nexus. <laughs> Nexus. Um, well, Undisputed Era. Sanity. Those two <laughs> are to the future, not the present. Um, I don't really think that the ministry was as big. All right. Well, how about 10 years? I can, I'm just saying, for, for a long time. Okay. So, anyway, very popular. I think the shield, in, in scope, I think the shield technically outweighs some of those other ones. Just because of the impact on the the right now. Well, yeah, there was not much going on, and yes. all of a sudden they mm-hmm. said, oh, they, they injected the sp- some life. The splash that they caused was probably a lot That's more fair. impactful than those other guys. The only one that really outweighs them is DX, like yeah. I said, because of how big they were. Um, because the Nation of Domination was really not that. They were amazing. Well, how could it's for you a ever... completely different reason. Die, Rocky, die. Come yeah. on. So... Anyway, so, uh, but yeah, this would be a great opportunity to have. DOA. You don't even remember them, do you? No, I The Disciples of Apocalypse? Yeah, that was uh, Farouk and Bradshaw. No, 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 no. It was uh, Chains, Eight Ball, Skull. They were the bald guys, and then Crush. Oh. Yeah. You're right. I don't remember that. I could have swore that that was. Like, yeah, they they were gone. They came out to the ring on bikes. Yeah, that makes sense now. The Brood. Okay, we got to stop now. (laughs) It's getting too much. The Hardys and Michael Hayes. <laughs> that that's not really a faction. That was really an the old new brood. That old guy with uh, with a couple of young guys. Yeah. That's really what it is. Um, but yeah, the, going back to the Shield and New Day, this is an opportunity to get two very over teams into a very the Truth Commission. Shut <laughs> up! Stop it! <laughs> anyway, I can think of more. I, okay, this is not the time or the place. All right, fine. So, um, but yeah, it's a uh, potential for good. Hopefully, we come out on Raw. Roman Reigns comes back next week. He says we got a score to settle with the New Day. He starts coughing on everybody. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. 
You're, you got to ruin all my momentum. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, hopefully yeah, no, that happens time. next week. And then, uh, so, yeah. So, I'm going to stop before this jackass stops, <laughs> starts talking again. So, uh, yeah, that was our Raw review. If you liked what you saw here, which I'm sure you didn't because now I'm getting annoyed, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.